So this is an SMD solder practice kit from gigfun.com and it has like a few uh, test challenges like the SMD device, uh, the, the numbers up here show the device sizes like the 12 or 6 is the largest here. You can see you have to solder like a bunch of resistors in there. When you solder them all on there, if you don't cause any shorts, you can measure down here a resistance. 0805, a whole lot of capacitors, the C stands for capacitor. Again, you can measure the capacitance down here in those two pins. Then 0805 again, a resistor that's half the size of this one. A bunch of resistors go down here. And you can measure the resistance down here on those two pads. Easy to do. Here on the right, half the size of what you have over here. Then the 503 um, resistors, a whole lot of them down here. Then you're supposed to uh, solder the capacitors here. Whole bunch of them. They are smaller than the ones here. And then the very smallest here is the 402. 042, right? Those here. Those are the hardest to to work on. Let's see here, I have trouble here. But then again, so I try to hand solder with a soldering iron as well as with hot air. So some of them are soldered with hot air, and some of them are soldered with a soldering iron. Right, so then here we have a circle of LEDs and resistors for the LEDs. We have transistors here at the corner, over there, and then we do have also LEDs at the corners with resistors on them. And we have here a timer chip, and then you may notice uh, those uh, resistors here and capacitors. They have specific values where you have to, at this point, look for to put the right ones on. So this kit comes here with the random stuff for where you just learn to solder the size and then where the real circuit is in the middle those things you have to put on the right parts at the right spot. It has uh, resistor names on there are 61, 62, 63, 64. You see 64 here is a much smaller part. There, That is because I lost that and then I had to find one and I found a smaller one. They are, especially when they are so small, they fly away so quick. It's nuts. Now, on the bottom here, we have plus and minus. So you can connect the power supply between 3 and 12 volts. And uh, let me just connect this a little bit here to a battery. I do have here a um, lithium ion battery connected. Just a regular 3.7 volt or 4 volt battery there. And then we see that the outwards green LEDs start blinking. Over the transistor, I guess. All right. And then here in the middle we have the power LED. So that shows that the whole circuit has power. And then Yeah, then we see that uh, here the whole thing goes in a circle, the red light here, circles, and then you hope it does take every single one of them. Okay, so that's how the circuit is supposed to look like when it's put together, right? I'm going to darken my lights here a little bit, here my background light, or maybe the front light. You can see it a little better. Yep. Look at that. Yep, that's how it's supposed to blink. And if you have done everything right, then all the LEDs blink. And the whole circuit is going to work. Like this one, it is working. 
Okay. So thanks for watching.